Chapter 9, Mishnah 2. We learned in the previous Mishnah that, according to the sages, a get does not take effect if the husband said he is not permitting her to a certain man. The Mishnah now teaches an exception to this rule. If someone gives his wife a get and says, you are hereby permitted to marry any man except for my father or your father, or except for my brother or your brother, or except for so-and-so who is a Canaanite slave or a non-Jew, or anyone else with whom Kedushin cannot take effect for her, in all of these cases, the divorce is valid, because even if he had divorced her in regard to everyone, she could not, uh, she could not have Kedushin, Kedushin with these men. Since this get allows her to marry everyone that a regular get would allow her to marry, it is considered a total separation and is valid. There are marriages that are forbidden by the Torah where Kedushin does not take effect despite the prohibition. The Mishnah teaches the law for a case where a husband gives his wife a get and says that it will not permit her to marry such a man. If his wife was a widow before he married her and he says to her, you are hereby permitted to marry any man except for a Kohen Gadol, or she was a divorcee or halutza before he married her and he says to her, you are hereby permitted to marry any man except for an ordinary Kohen, or she was a Mamzeris or a Nasina and he says to her, you are hereby permitted to marry any man except for an ordinary Jew, or she is the daughter of an ordinary Jew, and he says to her, except for a Mamzer or a Nasin, or except for anyone with whom Kedushin does take effect for her, even if it is a sin for her to marry that man, as long as the sin is not punishable by Karis, in all these cases the divorce is invalid because it does not enable her to become betrothed to everyone that a regular get would and it is therefore not considered a total separation.